I wanted a proposal like him harnessed, hanging off the Eiffel Tower, doing the spread eagle. And it never got me a ring. My name's Nakia. My name's Mike. And welcome to our video series. Today we're going to be talking about our big day. The best day of our lives. Our wedding. From dress to traditions, we've got all your questions covered. We went to Las Vegas to go and watch Tyson Fury yeah. fight. And we were seeing each other and we both sort of knew we were in love. I knew me heart I was in love with her. So I thought, you know what? We got in the car and I said, will you marry me? Should we just go and get married now? Let's do it. We're in Vegas, let's get it done. Come on, because I want to be with you for the rest of my life. And you was like, yeah, let's do it. So we went to Elvis Presley's, uh, not Elvis Presley's, but it's called, where he got married, where Elvis Presley got married, called the Little White Chapel. And then the priest uh, got us out of the car, yeah. went and did our wedding ceremony, and yeah. then he gave us this list. And he was like, this is how you have a successful He's, marriage. This is it. He said, if you want to have a successful marriage, mm. follow this list. We've still got it now, and it's yeah. all the rules of, of how of to how live. to be happy, be patient, be kind, be loving, be respectful. It was actually really nice. It was really one of the good. best memories of my life. I could highly recommend. Anybody that wants to go and get married, definitely go to Definitely Vegas. in Vegas. It was it's the, the best. It's the place to get married. It the Little the White best. Chapel is the best in the world. Look out for wedding number three because we have been married twice. We got married once in Vegas. I know, we got, we got married once, once in Vegas, once in Doncaster, but the third one is going to be the big, big wedding, like the full dress, everything. The wedding we had in Doncaster was basically just a walk in. We booked it, it was just me and Nakia and a boxer who's good friends with me that I know for a long time. Him and his wife were his best man and woman, and there was me and Nakia. We just got married, signed the register, and that was it. That was our second wedding. But the third wedding's yet to come, so we want to do something special, I think. We wanted the official English certificate marriage full on. Yeah. So that's why we went Doncaster and we got it And we got finalised. We got tattoos as well. We got Nakia. Oh, we got them all done. The wedding we had in Vegas was like really like... It was a dream and magical. Like, what girls can say they get married in Vegas from Doncaster? You know like, what? It was the best day in my life. I ain't gonna lie. So, obviously when we got married in Vegas, it was just me and... My girls and no one came just for the simple fact of it was a last minute thing. We went abroad, we watched the fight, like it wasn't planned. Me and Mike are very lone soldiers, like we don't really have a lot of friends and we don't have it with a lot of people. So, we're alphas, yeah, we're alphas. So, me and Mike are just best friends and we do everything together, so we don't really have anyone involved. But my mum was upset that she didn't come, but hey, hey, yeah, mum was really it was just rushed. We're gonna have a big wedding though, everyone's invited by the way. So we didn't have any traditional traveling songs or readings or anything. The big day didn't cost a lot. I think the fight cost more. I didn't wear a dress. Like I said, it was last minute. I think I wore a true religion's jean, a true religion top. We both had jeans and t-shirts on. It was last minute, guys. We went through the drive-thru, we got married, bish bash bosh, it was done. There was nothing like that. Um, but our big wedding, I'm gonna have the big Swarovski dress that I want and it's gonna be gorgeous. We're gonna make up for it. Um, we got married once in Vegas, our first meaningful marriage. Yeah. And then we got married again in England to confirm it. But the third wedding, we're gonna get married properly with a big dress. When I say probably, we are properly married, but we wanna do it in a big way and tick yeah. all the boxes. So we've got the big dress, the church, and the big reception. Um, I do love like the big wedding, the blingy wedding that does come with the traveler wedding. I think it's really nice. But I think that's any wedding. It's not just traveler weddings. I think big weddings are for every girl. They always imagine that from a little girl. Yeah, I don't think so, travelers own that. I mean, no. I mean, every every woman in the world wants to have a big wedding, right? Not yeah. just travelers. Personally, I think they're a bit OTT, over the top at travelers weddings. Yeah. Honestly, I think some of them can just go overboard, and that's my opinion. Yeah, it's not my first wedding. I got married in California to a man before Mike, an American guy. I'm crazy. We don't want to talk too much about our ex-partners, but she got married to an American guy and I got married to an English girl. And I ran away when I was a kid. I was 19. Yeah. I ran away to Scotland to get married. And she wasn't much younger. Um, didn't really know what I was doing, to be honest with you. Got married and that was us before, you know, just crack on like this, but sometimes you grow apart and that's the way it goes. Mm. But, um, you know, life leads you on a, a, a little twisty tailed route and then you end up with the right person at the end of it. Nah. Was it my dream proposal? No. It was on <laughs> I really didn't It wasn't. No, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't my dream proposal. Like, I wanted a proposal like him harnessed hanging off the Eiffel Tower, doing the spread eagle uh, with the ring hanging off the forehead, 
twizzle, twiddling. No, nah, she wanted, she wanted what all girls want. Like. You know, down on one knee. And yeah, I did want it down on one knee. But I did it in a V12 Charger muscle car, driving through Las Vegas, doing about 120 mile an hour. Um, so a bit different, but still romantic in, in that way. And it never got me a ring, but the ring comes. I'll, sh I'll tell you how this, how this lovely ring came about. Okay. This is a good story. This is a romantic story, really. We were driving, well, he was driving, and, he, and, and I was saying, everyone's got a ring. Like, why don't I have a ring? Because I'm, I'm a stubborn right? So he's like, you want a ring? I'll go get you a ring. I went, yeah, I do want a ring. So we got to rankings. He said, pick your ring. I picked my ring, and you all want to show, so I'll show you this quick. That was my ring. I love it. It means so much to me. Out of respect, I would recommend any young man that's going to ask for a woman uh, any man that go and ask for a woman to, to actually talk to the parents first. But you did ask my mum. Yeah, I asked. I asked she, him, he did I ask met my mum. And ask I said, like, well, I'm really serious about your daughter and I really like, well, I really love her. And amongst travellers, especially, they, there's a courting stage and then the, the travelling follower will go back and ask for the girl. So then a girl will be like, oh, I've been asked for. And that's them super exclusive and they're going to get married. Um, travellers have the big weddings and the big this and the big that. Truthfully. Even the Holy Communion, all the young girls with makeup to the nines and everything. Truthfully, big. everybody wants to show off. But the thing is, a lot of people will be going home and living on beans and toast for weeks. And the woman will be just cleaning and cooking cheap teas and saving and working out. Because don't forget with travellers, we've got a very big work ethic. And I'm not saying that bad because a lot of people think I'm talking bad about travellers. I'm really not. I think it's good to have that work ethic and save money. So does Nakia. Um, but the, a lot of travellers will be living on beans and toast and saving and working and going abroad and tarmacking and block paving and doing bits of roofing and saving their money. But when it does come to it and it comes to the crunch, they will spend and go all out on jewellery, on cars, on trailers, on, you know, bits of nice things like weddings for the family. Yeah. And they'll, they will, they won't hold back. Travellers are very, you know, shame orientated and pride orientated. I mean, it's not very good, but obviously if a fella's doing well for himself, he's going to be more accepted into the, to the girl's um, family. Yeah. Um, obviously nobody wants to see their daughter marrying somebody that can't look after themselves. If a fella's got a nice car and a nice turnout, we call it a turnout, a nice trailer, a nice car, and he goes and gets to the girl a nice ring. It is part of it, but um, me and the kids are super close, so we, we just got on with things, didn't we? Yeah. I went in, got her the best ring we could get, and that was it. I do see a lot of traveling girls posting, you know, pictures of the ring and everything on Facebook. So I guess it is kind of a big thing. But to me, it's never been a big thing. Like, I'm just happy being in love with you and looking yeah. forward. It's still nice to get a nice diamond ring, though. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, I have a nice ring. Thank you for joining us for the third of six episodes. Uh, there's plenty more to come. Definitely. And next week, we're going to be talking about our work, what we do for a living, and why I decided to quit my job as a glamour model. So please join us next week and all of your comments, please put them in the comments box below so we can read them and get back to you on it. Definitely. And don't forget to share, comment and subscribe to the fabulous YouTube page so you don't miss a juicy thing.